How you doing, family? Today, I want to talk to you about the proper foundation. And the reason we have to talk about this is because everything that we're going to build in life, we need to make sure that we have the proper foundation. When I think of the house, any house, one story, two story, three stories or more, any building, okay, the foundation is the first thing they build. Why is it the first thing they build? It's because they know the foundation has to support the structure which is going to be on top of it. It is the same thing with us. Okay, the Lord knows that we need a proper foundation in our lives, within our families, within our households. So as we continue to grow our families, grow our households, continue to grow in our careers, that we're standing on the right foundation. A foundation that's not going to tumble over and, and crack and fall. And a lot of times when he's, when he's doing that, he's going to develop you. And then when you think about personal foundation, that's the development process within you. You know, is your character where it needs to be? Is your attitude where it needs to be to sustain what the Lord has prepared for you? And sometimes we're not in a place where the Lord was, is ready to launch us. Why? Because our foundation is not as strong as it needs to be yet. And because of that, he's continuing to work on us, continuing to put the right character inside of us, continue to read his word, continue to understand who he is. So when time comes for you to hold on to the blessing that he has for you, you're not going to lose it because your foundation is weak. Jesus says there's no other foundation that can be built but on the word of God. And what that simply means is that you build your foundation by studying the word of God, understanding the word of God, and then putting the word of God into action. So when you're going to build the proper foundation in your lives and in your family's lives, it must be based on the word of God. Okay, not just in thought, not, not just in theory, but you must put it into action. That's when he says you're the wise man. There's a scripture I believe is in Matthew 7. Where he's talking about building your house on solid rock versus sand. He says the wise man builds his house on solid rock. Why? Because, see, when it rains, okay, when the rivers rise, when the winds come and hit side to side, that that house is going to stand. Because there's always going to be a time of testing in our lives. And when the trials and the tests and the hardship comes, if your foundation is not strong, okay, you're going to crash and burn. You're going to fall over and crumble. And the Lord doesn't want us to do this with our families. And I want to get this over to you today. So as you're going through the curriculum, as you're going through your studying this process, remember, everything we're taking in is building the proper foundation in our lives. It's imperative that you understand that. It's paramount in our lives that we put the proper foundation in place because as we build, as we get stronger, and when the time of testing comes, we're going to be able to stand on that foundation and not fall. Amen? All right, family. I hope you guys took that in. Thank you for joining me for the short lesson today. Bye now.